With the curtain walls in place and all properly aligned to the foundation walls, I can now go on and add mullions. I'll begin by clicking the mullion icon on the home tab of the ribbon. First, I'll choose a type. I want the 2.5 by 5 inch rectangular mullion. And to place a mullion, you must have a mullion grid. Now, when you create curtain walls, Revit automatically creates grid lines for you along the curtain wall edges by default. We'll look at how to add additional grid lines in a bit, but for now, I'll begin by placing mullions along all of the edges of the curtain walls. I'll hover my cursor over the edge, and when I see a dashed purple line where I want the mullion, I'll click to place it. I'm going to skip these corners for now and add rectangular mullions uh, all around the perimeter of the curtain wall. So you can see the mullions being added as I click each grid line. And by the way, you can select the grid lines through geometry as well. Notice that I can select the grid lines through the roof without having to adjust the view or make the roof transparent. So once you're done adding the mullions, press Escape to exit the tool. Next, let's add some corner mullions to the three remaining wall corners. I'll click the mullion icon and change the type to an L corner 5x5 five five mullion. And I'll add them to the three remaining corners. So with the mullions added, I'll switch to the floor plan and you can see them there as well. Now notice because we use two and a half inches as the dimension when we align the curtain walls, the mullions here extend perfectly up to the grid lines. Also, because of the way we align the curtain walls location lines, when we added the corner mullions, Revit was able to identify the correct orientation for the corner mullions. If I select the location line of the curtain wall, you can see it's directly in the middle of the bottom mullions. On the Modify tab of the ribbon, I'll click the Measure tool. All right, I'll click to measure from the back of the mullions to the reference plane, and you can see the measured distance is 5 inches, which we'd expect because we used a 5-inch mullion. So, everything is looking really good so far, and now let's look at creating grid lines so we can add a few more mullions, and I'm going to do this directly within the 3D view. Next, I'll click the Curtain Grid icon from the Home tab of the ribbon, and this lets me click anywhere along the wall to place grid lines. You can see, as I place the grid lines, that they have dimensions associated with them, which we can edit later on to get the placement perfect. Notice I'm clicking along the horizontal edges of the walls to add the vertical grid lines, and along the vertical edges to add the horizontal grid lines. So, to edit the placement, simply click a grid line to select it, then click the dimension you'd like to edit, and enter a value. Now, I can add some more grid lines to the side faces, and I'll edit the heights of these horizontal grid lines to match the front walls.
So, double checking the height of the top grid lines, I can see that they are 11 feet 6 inches above the lower grid line. I'll quickly change the dimensions so they line up. And once I've got all the grid lines I want, I'll press Escape to exit the tool and then click the Mullion icon. And I'll make sure the type is set to rectangular, 2.5 by 5 inch. Uh, before I add any mullions, notice these options on the ribbon that I skipped over earlier. When adding mullions, you can add them along individual grid lines, grid line segments, or along all the grid lines at once. By default, this option is set to individual grid lines, but if you wanted to have different types of mullions running across different parts of the grid lines, you can use the Segments option to do so. I'll leave it at Individual Grid Lines and simply click the grid lines to add the rest of the mullions. And there we have it. Now, these sidewalls look like they could each use a vertical mullion, so I'm going to go ahead and add those before wrapping up. First, I'll add the grid lines. Then I'll quickly place the mullions. And okay, I gotta say, everything's looking really good. It's coming together. So I'm going to switch to the floor plan view and make sure everything looks good there as well. The curtain walls give the front of our building a nice modern look. I'm digging it. 